We've asked for a representative of the Department of Corrections to join us. Is there a representative here today? Is there anybody? Um, but they declined. The State Department of Corrections was not represented at today's Senate Law and Public Safety Committee hearing on physical and sexual abuse of inmates at the Edna Mahan Women's Prison. Had they sent a representative, they would have heard damning testimony that suggests a facility rank with abuse of inmates by a group of corrections officers and a DOC unable or unwilling to put a stop to it. These inmates are powerless and at the mercy of their jailers. We can only imagine the nightmare of being confined to a cell and having a guard come in to commit rape or being pulled into a maintenance closet to be attacked. Inmates have also told of being unable to resist an officer's demands for sex because of the fear of retribution at the hands of those same officers. The reports go back to 2010, with corrections officers fired but never charged, others awaiting trial for sexual assault, and earlier this month, another corrections officer charged with official misconduct and sexual assault. Testifying today were prison reform and civil rights advocates, the union representing corrections officers, and most dramatically, victims of abuse. During my imprisonment at Edna Man, I was sexually harassed. I was sexually abused, abused on more than one occasion. My complaints were ignored. The last incident occurred August the 14th in 2014. The allegations were terrible enough, but the charge that complaints fell on deaf ears had some committee members seething. The union representing the corrections officers say they won't provide assistance to officers who have substantial evidence against them. But they said they've tried to be a part of the solution, only to have their efforts thwarted by the indifference at the DOC. The issues at the Mayhem present a clear picture of, failed, of, a, of a failed administration. Commissioner Lanigan, after hearing about these issues, has done nothing to correct the situation. Uh, has he enhanced the staff? Has he evaluated the causes of their issues and instituted solutions such as proper training? The answer is no. Has he selected qualified and competent administrators? The answer, in our opinion, is no. Lanigan, who has not spoken on this issue since he appeared before a Senate committee last year, was up for confirmation earlier this month, but his hearing was suddenly canceled for what was called an internal issue. His hearing has not been rescheduled, and from the sound of some senators today, probably should not be. This has been going on for a number of years, and yes. when they had the first complaint, that's when they should have, you know, started their investigation. And you know, I know the commissioner is coming up before Senate Judiciary Committee, and let me tell you, unless you know we get some answers, I, I think he's going to have problems getting getting confirmed because uh, this is an abuse that should not happen. I heard uh, uh, Senator Bateman's comments, and I echo them. There have to be consequences to what's going yeah. on. Senator Poe also said policy and leadership changes were due. The governor's office said today they're trying to get to the bottom of the issue, which predates this administration. As for the DOC, today at least, no comment. In Trenton, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News.